That's okay. I just need to get these files, and I'll just take them with me. Do you know where they are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just right in the desk. Thanks. Oh, hey. Hi, Dorian. Hi, Connie. You got a date? Yeah, sure do. Wait a minute. I thought that you had a date, too. Uh-oh. What's wrong? I just tried to walk out the door about a dozen times, but I can't seem to make myself get up off the couch. Why not? I mean, you certainly look terrific. That's me. Terrific looking on the outside, a train wreck on the inside. I just can't go to a party and look at all those happy faces. I think if I have to smile, my face is going to crack. Oh, no, come on. I'm sure you have one small smile in there somewhere. At least for Jonathan Russell. Oh, Connie. Dorian, what, what is it? What happened? Oh, nothing happened that I didn't deserve. Well, did, did you ask Jonathan to come with you? He's just not going to go to the party with me. He's not going to walk through the door. He's never going to speak to me again. Why? What is wrong with that man? Nothing is wrong with the man. It's my fault. Well, I mean, okay. Just tell me, I mean, what did you do here? <laughs> what I always do. I tried to control a situation that I can't control. I tried to play games when I didn't have to. And I've lost him. I just lost him. Oh, hey, come on. Things can't be that bad. Well, they are. Listen to me. Whatever he said and whatever you did, see, it doesn't matter. If he really cares about you, then he'll call you. And if he doesn't, then you're better off without him. Oh, no. No, Connie, I am not. I cannot believe that I am sitting here listening to this. Is this Dorian Lord sitting here? I mean, when, when did you lose your confidence? Since when did you get insecure? You are the most eligible woman in, in, in Landview. Oh, please. Now, you just get up off that couch, wipe your face off, and you go to that dinner. No, really, I just can't Yes, help. you can. Now, come on, come on. Believe me, trust me. This is Connie, the best antidote this... for Jonathan Russell. Look at you. Will you look at you in this outfit? It is gorgeous. Men are going to be begging to sit next to you. Maybe I could put in an appearance. Of course you could. <sighs> sure. There are other men in the world, right? Lots of them. Yeah. Tall men, short men, thin men. Ooh. Who needs Jonathan Russell, right? I do. It's no use. Really, I can't look at all those happy faces. Oh, yes, you can. Besides, I mean, how are they going to have the press awards dinner without you there? They can't. <sighs> uh, Mrs. Lord, uh, someone just slipped this under the front door. Did you happen to see the person? Uh, no, ma'am. When I opened the door, they were gone. All right. Thank you very much. Yes, ma'am. Well, open it up. I bet it's from Jonathan Russell. You really think so? Oh, yeah. I'll be begging for forgiveness. <laughs> I hope so. I bet. <laughs> Dorian, I've been watching you. I told you I would return someday to make you pay for what you did. Time's up, Paul Kendall. Someday to make you pay for what you did. Time's up, Paul Kendall. Oh, God, no. Here, love. Let me see that. It's a nightmare. It's absolutely a nightmare. Well, it's the same tone. As the last letter from that crackpot from before. No, Connie. Okay, then, then it's from Paul Kendall. We won't back. We'll, um, call the police. You don't understand. That letter really is from Paul Kendall. And, Connie, I'm scared to death. What do you mean this letter is really from Paul Kendall? I thought you said the first one was from Kendall, wasn't it? There's no point in lying to you. Connie, I wrote that first letter. You did what? I told you I was playing games that I didn't need to. And you wrote a phony letter just to get Jonathan's attention? Oh, Dory. Don't say it, all right? I, I know. The game blew up in my face. I got his attention with a vengeance. 
And he knows? Yes. Is that why he stormed out of here? Mm -hmm. And then you got this? The real letter? Yeah. I'd die laughing if I weren't already scared to death. I don't know. This just sounds like too much of a coincidence to me. You write a phony letter and then you get this real one. Why are you looking at me like that? Connie, this letter is not a fake. I swear that to you. Okay, I I'm, I'm not saying that. You don't need to say it. I can see it in your eyes. I'm telling you, there is a logical explanation for this. Good, I'd love to hear it. All right. Uh... Paul Kendall saw that article in the banner that Richard wrote. That would set him off that much? That doesn't take much to, to, to bother Paul. I'm telling you, he read it. He got furious at me for digging up the past, and he decided to come back to Landview and take his long-awaited revenge. Well, that's a wild enough story, but, uh... It is not a story, Connie. It is the truth. Now, what am I going to do? I mean, how am I going to stop him? Okay, okay. Uh, the first thing you should do is just calm down. And the second thing you should do is call Jonathan. No. Dorian, he's a trained professional. I'm he can give you protection. No, the man will think that I'm crying wolf. He'll laugh in my face. Okay, then, then I'll come with you. We can explain it to him together. It's no use. Come to think of it, it's the cruelest irony of all, isn't it? Now, when I really do need him and he really could help me, he's the last person in the world I can turn to. Wait, where, where are you going? I'm going to the one person who can help me. I just hope it's not too late. I'm so glad you're both here. Dorian, would you mind just knocking? Ed, you've got to talk to me. My life is in danger. <laughs>